So for javadoc, you need to uh, add javadoc comments and then uh, basically run the javadoc, right? Uh, in order to add comments, there's a specific, you know, way to do it, but I wouldn't bother. There's no point when you could just automate it by using ChatGPT, right? Just uh, copy paste in there and say, uh, add it's just basically like normal comments it just needs to have parameter and return like just say it basically just says what it returns what parameter it passes whatever it's very simple stuff there's just no point writing it out because you're wasting time right so um especially when you have loads of classes so you're just going to copy this and so this you just paste that now you have your driver dot comments and what you're going to do is you're going to go here in your terminal so you have to specify cd which package it's in right so it's lab one part one dot java is in part one package called part one so cd part one Java doc lab there we go creates the java doc here are all your files and then um, it's all in this package and then in order to actually run your web page you just run the index file the index.html and then there's your web, web page uh with all the well, obviously it'll be a lot more if you have more classes and stuff to java doc right and you can search whatever yeah so that's how you do java docs in um in vs code